you guys work hard ask for help um apply yourself get past papers and all of that you probably will do well and also if you want it as bad as you like if you want it if you want something you will work hard in order to get that <laughs> So I am Nolutan Longosi. I am in third year medicine and I go to the University of Pretoria. So I've been asked today by Sadie to basically um, share my medical school journey or my journey into medicine with you guys today. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous because I also have a YouTube channel. It's Nolutan Longosi for those who want to check it out. I also speak about medical school things. But yeah, without further ado, you i'll um start answering the questions she asked me to answer basically with you guys <laughs> i'm so nervous so the first question was um which high school did i go to so i am from the east of johannesburg east rand um and i went to um spring schools high school in south court it was a wonderful school I absolutely loved it, um, except for when we were in matric because I felt like we needed more support from our lecturers and all of that. Also guys, please forgive me for the background noise, the taxis or whatever, I am currently at rest and there's nothing I can do about it, but I really do apologize for that. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I went to Spring Schools High School in the east of Johannesburg great high school 10 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 I would highly recommend um the next question was what were my matric marks so i don't remember correctly like i don't remember accurately but i remember that i got five distinctions in matric and then i got two b's so five a's and two b's and i'm not sure if i got like was it three um 89s and then 288 something like that like my marks had a pattern to them um so yeah but like if you want to get into medicine i suggest that you focus more on your grade level marks because those are the ones that are going to give you like provisional acceptance and all of those things um so yeah i did quite well in matric i think the thing is i knew my like how my marks in matric were going to turn out like in my head i knew it would see for mathematics, life science, physical science, accounting, and LO distinction all the way. And then I just had to work a bit hard for English and Afrikaans to just make my mark stay in the 70s. I knew I wasn't gonna get distinctions in those, but like, I was just like, 70s, I'm good with that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, um, the next question is, how did um, you prepare for your NPT? So basically guys, for the NPT, like, you know what god was with me through that test because i was uh, so nervous and i feel like it's the nerves that like make you doubt yourself and make you feel like you can't do well or you're incompetent or whatever but like um how i prepared so basically i had a math tutor um so yeah she basically said like uh um a test for us basically um because there were other people in my math tutor class who wanted to do medicine and wanted to do and had to write the NPC test i mean so she just um uh set a test for us and then yeah and then we did that test and then if we had any questions with regards to the work that there was gonna they were gonna test we just asked her during um the tutor classes and all of that so that's what i did to prepare for it but like i don't think there's a safe way to prepare for the nbt because like there's no past papers available on the internet only the people who took the test can basically tell you we say, okay this is what they asked this is what they asked but i feel like we were all just traumatized to even remember what was asked in the test <laughs> to be quite honest but yeah i just i don't know man like i don't know how you could prepare just be confident in yourself know that you can do it sit there and think and think they're not trying to check you it's just you would just think because i feel like they test how you reason more than anything especially um the quantitative literacy part of it um so yeah that's what i did i don't know <laughs> 
the next question is what keeps you going when the road gets tough so with me i'm a christian so i pray a lot like especially for second year because your second year guys it's tough it is tough it will hey it will make you question yourself it will make you question if you were meant to be doing this but you know i, I just prayed to god to keep me because i know he wouldn't put me in a situation where i can't like overcome anything you know what i mean so i prayed a lot um yeah i prayed a lot that's what i did i mean that's what i do when the road gets tough i pray a lot and another unhealthy thing that i do when the road gets tough is that i sleep a lot like sleep becomes my comfort but you know when you're sleeping and then now your realities um manifest themselves in your dreams so it becomes tense also but yeah i slept a lot um eat a lot that's what i did and pray a lot and the road gets up because trust me in medicine it will whether you are the smartest or smartest kid the road will get tough sometimes and you must just let yourself know that you deserve this you were meant to be here you know i'd like affirm yourself reassure yourself you are supposed to be here you know what i mean that's i feel like that's another that thing that you could use possibly as a method of getting yourself um through tough times i mean the next question is um varsity academical experiences and challenges challenges from first year till now so basically with my varsity experience um especially through academics and stuff um i feel like the workload has been a constant factor for me like since from first year till now i'm in third year as i said um the workload was a lot and it still is a lot that's the only challenge i have with medicine because i don't necessarily think that the work is that challenging it's just that the workload like i can't get through everything or like i can't retain all the knowledge because it's just a lot of work like uh you guys are kind of stress this enough the workload is just way too much and yeah so that's an academic challenge i had was the workload and more recent um more recently it's just retaining the information like being able to retain all that information has been quite a challenge for me personally um the next one is the most challenging module in your experience so i'm just gonna break this up like break this up <laughs> does that make sense so in my first year um first semester because we're still doing like a bsc on the main campus um my most challenging um, module then was mlb which was molecular biology and i did not understand why i wasn't doing well because i was a life sciences girl and molecular biology is basically like life science just a deeper understanding or going deeper into the things you do in life science so i was really frustrated at that because i used to do so well in life science in school i was like one of the top achievers in life science so that really like you know shut things up for me but because i am the girl i still passed that module with a distinction even though it was my lowest mark i still did very well but that was the most challenging module i feel like it's because the workload was also a lot and i just didn't know how to study for it i, I, I just didn't know how to study it personally and then after that so there is a first year second year and third year with my varsity we work with um block systems so basically um in first year the blocks block one and all the other blocks we did they weren't as challenging they actually were manageable i would say though pharmacology who retaining the information in pharmacology you know like you can't i feel like i can't retain information of things i can't pronounce and most of the jags in first year i was so unfamiliar with them so i couldn't pronounce them so yeah it was a bit hard i mean a bit challenging for me to like remember all that information and then in second year oh my gosh second year oh my gosh guys second year is a lot second year is so challenging at the university of Victoria, as you might have heard if you go to tax but um, in second year, my most challenging um, module was um, molecular biology. So block 4B. Oh my gosh, you see your strip oreos, your stephanococcus, your 
really is a very seller zoster your day all of those things your listeria and whatever hey guys that 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 your know, that challenges me because i remember in my first test i got like the first test we did i got like a 50 something i was so sad because i'm just like am i even gonna promote because with the block system if you get 60 percent and above you get to promote it then you get exempted from the exam so since i got a 50 for my first um test i think i got like a 56 to be exact i was so scared I, like guys i thought i wasn't gonna promote i thought i was just gonna fail this and nothing good is just gonna come out of it but i just from the day after the first test obviously i was destroyed because i didn't do well but um because i know that i'm going to be here i just studied harder i guess i don't know exactly what i did i just studied um harder i put more time into it um I try to make myself understand basically the work because I feel like with block 4b it wasn't the work maybe it was the work but I feel like it was more so I couldn't like remember then all the names of these um, microorganisms so now as I said with pharmacology also I can't remember things I can't pronounce and stuff like that so I feel like that was also a challenge for me with block 4b but yeah, I managed to promote that blog. I actually ended up doing quite well because I felt like I just put my mind to it. And I'm like, study, you want to do this once, you don't want to do it again. So just study and just get through it. So yeah, that was blog 4B for me. And then in third year, the most challenging, I don't think anything really was like uh, that challenging in um, third year because uh, third year is such a blast you guys so chill and love it so we'll do it again <laughs> and then the next question is the easiest module in your experience your uh, i don't know like i don't know maybe like lst in first year like a language a uh, module that was easy but like in medicine something directed directly related to medicine um i don't know eh? I, I, I don't know i think with medicine not that it becomes easier once you understand the work but it becomes less challenging once you understand the work and you're able to um work through all the information basically i don't know if what i just said made sense but like i don't think there was an easy module maybe there were easy modules I mean you see those blocks that are like one week long and stuff those were probably easy i just can't remember one on the top of the top of my head right now so i'm sorry i can't answer that <laughs> the next question is how would you describe your current year in comparison to your previous um year of medical school also advise on how to prepare for this year so i'm in third year now last year was second year and as i've been saying that second year has like was hell basically second year was a lot you guys like yo second year made me question myself a lot second year like had me crying second year had me break down in the middle of no way you know what i mean second year was yo <laughs> and thing is now like the previous um years told us because no second year is challenging but i was like okay fine but like i didn't expect it to be this bad like second year was just a lot it put me in a really dark space but we made it through we in third year now so third year in comparison to second year is like very chilled like very chilled like I can't even stress this enough. Second, that is nice. Basically, you have more time on your hands to do like things you want. Been I started a YouTube channel in that third year, <laughs> so yeah, third year is a bit chilled, more chilled than um second year. But that doesn't mean that you must just chill and not study. Obviously, you have to study. Otherwise, girl, boy, <laughs> it's gonna be tense for you. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I forgot the advice I would give. Well, the advice I'd give for a second year student basically is that you must just prepare yourself mentally. Obviously, you're gonna have a bit of challenges here and there, 
um learn to reassure yourself learn that getting like maybe a 50 in one test is really not the end of the world you can still revive yourself um study hard study smart be consistent um don't let work don't let work pile up like be consistent don't let work pile up um don't push things until the last minute if you get an assignment start breaking it like now and stuff also when you get your timetable plan your life plan your life accordingly prioritize like your academics you can't be going out the day before you test and stuff like that just prioritize um what else can i say have fun enjoy it <laughs> I know you may be asking, it's a hard year, how can I have fun? But have fun, enjoy it. It doesn't, it's not going to last forever. It's just, just a couple of months and you're, you're done. Um, so yeah, work hard, stay consistent. Don't let anything get you down. Reassure yourself, you know, go to, I am meant to be here and stuff like that. Um, the next question is, um advice for future and current medical students i feel like i've been giving you guys advice throughout the whole entire video good you must always reassure yourself there you, there's going to be times where you have like imposter syndrome thinking you're not, you're not good enough to be here but you are here for a reason do you know how many people apply to medicine and you are one of the people that made it so just know that you're meant to be here for one to work consistent work smart study hard you know no witty sorry guys i have flu so yay work hard work consistent no witty um getting one bad mark is not the end of the world for example even not promoting is not the end of the world you still like have another chance to be yourself you still have another chance to do well in a subsequent test you know what i mean so um yeah reassure yourself i've already said that um, work hard don't give up don't give up <laughs> and i feel like when times get tough remind yourself why you got into medicine in the first place like why you started um this medical journey in the first place you know we all have different reasons why we um wanted to do medicine you know just you know also have the right reasons of why you want to study medicine because the journey will get hard and if you don't want to do this in the heart like deep deep down like you know what i want to do medicine it's gonna get a bit challenging for you and be, you know yeah um what else can i <laughs> what other advice can i give to you guys also believe in yourself don't let anyone tell you what you're aiming too high this is basically for now if you're watching this and you're not in medical school already and you're applying believe in yourself don't let anyone tell you what you're not good enough study hard pray 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 if you're christian pray um what else i think i've given enough advice for everyone but yeah, I wish you guys all the best if you are in medicine or applying to medicine. I wish you guys all the best. Know that it's possible to get in and it's possible to graduate. So this is not advice I'm giving to myself, basically. <laughs> Graduation is possible. It's possible for you to do great at medical school. It's possible for you to do great at varsity and as a whole. So yeah, stay confident. Don't give up everything like that so yeah guys we have come to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it um it was nice being here today basically <laughs> it's my first feature on someone else's video basically um so yeah i think that's it for me today also subscribe to my youtube channel no time don't go see yourself like you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah, I wish you guys all the best, as I've said. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching me today. We did enjoy it. Um, I hope someone takes something from this video today. And I hope it like helps someone in the future. You know what I mean? <laughs>
But yeah, bye. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. 